Hey foodies, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to make a crema bianca with Ontario's largest native edible fruit called the pawpaw. And some people might mistake these for papaya, but this is actually a fruit grown in Ontario. And they smell like caramel and just sweetness. And I've got a bowl of them already pulped here and you can see it looks a bit like custard. Some people will mistake it for papaya because of the name, but it's not for how it looks. You can see it's a much smaller fruit than the regular papaya. And, but before we get started, let's take a look at the recipe. All right, so I'm gonna cut this open and we're gonna take a look and see what's inside and you can see just what is a papa. There's lots of seed on the inside. The seeds and the skin aren't edible, but the yummy custard on the inside is edible and it's really, really yummy. And you can see some of the seeds right there. And I'm just gonna take all of this out and I'm gonna just start pulping it. One. There's two. Okay, so I'm going to take seeds out. Okay, and I'm going to put this all in here, and we're ready to get started. So I'll set that aside. We want to start by separating our eggs. I have five eggs and we need the egg yolks. So I normally start by cracking all of my eggs into a bowl. And then I reach in and I pull each yolk out individually. And I find it makes it pretty easy to get out. Alternatively, you can do what a lot of people do to separate. And they, they split it like that. And just toss it back and forth, and let the egg white drop and then you drop your yolk in. And then this way, I mean, you can see just how quick it is to, to separate your egg yolks from your egg whites. So I'm gonna set my egg whites aside. And I'm gonna add in my sugar. And I'm going to whisk that all up. And I'm going to mix in my cornstarch. Oh, look at the color difference. Isn't that fun? I'm going to keep mixing this, and while, while I'm mixing it, I'm going to put my milk on the stove. Okay. You just want to heat the milk up so it's just hot. You don't want to bring it to a boil. You want to just start to see bubbles forming on the outer sides of the pot. Okay, so my milk is hot. 
I'm going to start tempering the, the egg mixture by putting a spoon of the, egg mix, of the milk into the egg mixture just so that it warms it up a little bit and then we're going to put the whole thing in and whisk it all up. And the reason why you temper is so that we don't end up having like scrambled eggs instead of a thickened pudding. Look at that, that looks beautiful already. Okay. So I'm just going to mix this. And then we whisk. Okay, so now that we've got that custard done, I'm going to start folding, putting in the pawpaw. So I'm going to get a spoon, and I'm going to do about half of that, which is about two-thirds of a cup. And then we're just going to fold it in. Let's switch. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, you can really smell the pawpaw flavor coming out. It's really nice. Okay, so I'm going to transfer this to a nice cool bowl, and I'm going to let it set up in the fridge. So I've just pulled the crema bianca out of the fridge. It's been in there for a couple hours and you can see it's really set up nicely. I'm gonna take a piping bag. Come on, there we go. And hope this will work. There we go. I'm going to put some of this in. So when you're filling your cannoli, you want to make sure that you're, you, you're having them consumed before three hours is up. Otherwise, the, the shells themselves are going to go really soft. And you want that little bit of a crunch, the little cookie crunch. So I'm going to put a little bit in there and set that aside. Grab one, and we're going to fill it by starting there and just look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? I'm going to do a couple of them. I'll top up that side as well. I suppose I could garnish these with a little bit of icing sugar, but Really, the pawpaw itself is such a delicate flavor that I want it to shine and stand out. And when it comes with the, the cannoli recipe and the pawpaw and the crema bianca, it's such a wonderful melding of flavors. You're gonna love it. Here we go, let's give this a, let's fill this up and see just, oh, look at this. It looks lovely and Oh, you can smell the pawpaw and the, the red wine from the cannoli tube. It's a wonderful mix of flavors. I look forward to trying it. Mmm. Mmm. It's a little bit soft, a little bit crunchy. The flavor from the pawpaw really comes through as a, as a high note in the whole thing. It's so wonderful. Have you ever tried Papa? I look forward to reading your comments in, in the description below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.